Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Nikki and today I have a little unboxing for you. This is the spring watercolor snacks box um, put together through Art Snacks. Uh, so the first thing you see that we got here is the Strathmore watercolor sketchbook. And then the next thing we have is this uh, Van Gogh um, pocket box of watercolors. And this is a special collection um, put together just for art snacks. So they curated those colors specific for this box and this is the only place you can get it. Of course we have the watercolor snack sticker, some Laffy Taffy, we have here a little micron that's in the size 3. Um, I love those fine tip sizes. And then we have a couple of Faber-Castell watercolor markers. We have some Art Snacks washi tape, and this is the multicolor pencil, um, pretzel ones, which I love. And then, of course, we get um, a few watercolor brushes, which I love getting the watercolor brushes in this box. And we have a dagger brush. We have a really fine detail brush. Um, that's a Winsor Newton size zero. And then we have a Royal and Lang Langle Nichols in series watercolor brush as a size four. So I'm gonna go in here and swatch these colors real quick um, first. And this box, it is, um, it's, they, they curated these colors special for this box and they're all very bright and vibrant colors. Um, that was just beautiful for spring. So we ended up with a yellow and orange, um, a few pinks and reds here. There's uh, a couple of purples and some greens. And then of course, my favorite, the turquoise that you're gonna see here in just a second. Um, but all the colors were super, super bright. And here we go. Oh, look at that turquoise. Oh, look at it. I love it. It's my favorite color. It's so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to, to use it. Um, I went ahead and rearranged these colors. It's not the way they came in, but I just put them in a different order that made sense for me. Um, I like having my similar colors all grouped together. The next thing we got here was these uh, Faber-Castell watercolor markers. And the first color I got was this ultramarine blue. Um, and so I'm just like, laying some down and then using some water to wash it out and they fan out beautifully. The next color I got was a dark phthalo green. Um, now I am not the best with watercolor markers, um, but I, I like playing with them with what little I have played with them. I enjoyed it. Um, I definitely need to play with them a little bit more and get better with them. So here I'm just trying to blend some of the watercolor marker with the regular watercolors just to kind of see what happens. Um, and they just kind of fan out. Like I said, they, they blend beautifully. They work well together. Um, next I'm going to come here and I'm just going to sketch out some leaves. I was wanting to see how they, um, how, how it bleeds together. And when I do swatch them, or when I do go over them with the watercolor, the lines could potentially completely disappear. Um, you can blend them out entirely, uh, just depending upon how you want to use them or how much water you add to them and, and such. So like I said, I'm not the best with them. I'm used to just straight watercolors, um, but I did enjoy playing with these. So now we're going into my quick little sketch here that I did and I decided to draw a little frog out. So I first outlined them in pencil and then I went in with some of the um, the marker to kind of outline parts of his body, the, the top half. Um, right here you see me going in with that dagger brush which is great for leaves. Uh, and this was even the card that they sent this is how they said to, to use the dagger brush and it does make leaves very quick and easy. Um, the next thing I did is for one of the watercolor brushes, it had this, the, the back end of it is kind of angled and they recommended you go in and, and use it after you put your watercolor in 
to where you can add some like detail lines in it. So I played with that in those leaves real quick. Um, and then I'm just going to go back and, and continue painting my frog here and just playing with these different colors. I tended to stick more with the greens for this one. Um, I do come in here in a minute with some of the pinks and I'll admit I've drawn better frogs than this, but you know, for just a quick little playing with the colors and um, breaking in these watercolors and seeing what they do, uh, you know, it, it was a good time. Good time. So I'm going to add in and add some little pinky feet um, and reds and just uh, just keep going here. Oh, this quarterly box that Art Snacks does, um, they had done it a few years ago and then it just started again this year in 2022. Um, and since I love watercolor, I of course had to sign up for it. Uh, not that I need any more, but you know, who, whoever doesn't buy more art supplies because they don't need it. Anyways, so this is the second one they've had this year. And every box comes with a full size surface of some kind, whether it's a paper pad or this time was the watercolor sketchbook journal, whatever you want to call it. Um, the St Strathmore book. And I've used these sketchbooks before. I do like them. This is a new size for me. Um, I'm used to the bigger like eight by 10 size. I think are the ones that I've had before. Um, but I have to say I enjoyed this smaller size and uh, I'm also a, a lot of my sketchbooks are either portrait orientation or um, square and so this landscape one was a little bit different but I think it um, I think it worked great I really enjoyed it um, one of the other things I love about this box is the paint brushes that they give you because you get several and I just love getting the, trying out the new paint brushes um, and I have found some really awesome ones through any of the art snacks box, but this one in particular um, is really nice because it's just such a blend of, of different brushes to try. Um, and they also have some videos to, that they put out to share the techniques that you can do with the different stuff. So here we are, are all finished. Uh, with my little frog and all my colors. And then of course, the last thing I have to do on any sketchbook is add some stickers. So um, that is it. Hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.